Hi, you are watching The Savera. This is Amarpal Singh. Today, city is witnessing a cloud cover, and some parts of city they have even witnessed showers today morning. So, we are at Meteorology Department of Punjab Agriculture University, and we are having with us head of the department, Dr. P K Kingra. Uh, we will know from uh, Dr. Kingra that whether it is onset of monsoon or yet monsoon is to hit the region. Uh, so, welcome, ma'am, to The Savera. Uh, Ma'am, what is the present weather condition and uh, whether monsoon has, has hit the region or it is yet to? Uh, if we see the present weather conditions, uh, yesterday's daytime temperature was 35.2 degrees centigrade, uh, which was near normal as the normal daytime temperature for yesterday was 35.5 degrees centigrade. And uh, today we have observed minimum temperature of 30.2 degrees centigrade, which is 3.7 degrees centigrade higher than normal. So this type of uh, temperature conditions we are observing in the region, but because uh, today we are observing the rain also, so we are expecting uh, a fall in daytime temperature uh, from today onwards. Because for the coming four to five days, uh, there are chances of uh, rainfall as well as lightning and uh, thunderstorms in uh, many parts of the state. Right. So, ma'am, uh, monsoon has hit the region or it is uh, yet to arrive? Uh, monsoon has covered some of the northern districts and the northeastern districts of Punjab state and uh, we are quite hopeful that uh, in a uh, short period uh, it, uh, it can cover entire state but uh, still uh, it has to be reviewed and uh, decided by IMD. So, but some of the states, uh, some of the districts, uh, they are already covered yesterday by monsoon. What is the forecast for the coming week? Uh, for coming four to five days, there are chances of uh, rain in many parts of Punjab along with lightning and uh, uh, thunder showers. And uh, for this, IMD has declared uh, orange alert for today and tomorrow. And uh, after that, there is yellow alert. How the June month remained? Like today is the first day of uh, July. And can you please analyze how uh, weather, which was the ho uh, hottest day or how much rain uh, witnessed in entire June month? Actually, during the June month, if we see the uh, average conditions of the month, uh, there was a rain of uh, 48.6 millimeters, whereas uh, normal rain for June for Ludhiana is 82.8 millimeters. So there was a deficit by 34.2 millimeters for the whole month of June. And if we see the temperatures, the maximum temperature for the June month remained 40.1 degrees centigrade. Uh, whereas normal is 38.1 degrees centigrade, so it was 2 degrees centigrade above normal. And uh, minimum temperature also, it was uh, 27.6 degrees centigrade, whereas normal minimum temperature for June is 25.9 degrees centigrade. So this was also 1.7 degrees centigrade uh, uh, above normal. And similarly, if we see the uh, moisture in air, uh, morning uh, relative humidity remained 56% whereas normal is 64% so it was 8% uh, uh, below normal and evening relative humidity uh, we observed this year 31% uh, whereas normal is 40% so it was uh, below normal by 9% so overall we can say that uh, June month was uh, uh, hot and dry as compared to normal weather conditions. Like when you said uh, June month was hot and dry, tempera maximum temperature it increased and uh, th uh, the month remained uh, rain deficit. So how it impact, uh, what was it, it uh, uh, their impact on the crops? Uh, basically because uh, during this period, uh, main crops we can say are not there in the field because uh, creep crops are mostly sown during this period and uh, rabi crops they are already harvested. But still we have some vegetable crops or fruit crops. So when this type of conditions, high temperature and uh, less moisture or uh, rainfall is there, so it may lead to heat stress in some of the sensitive crops or it may even uh, increase uh, water requirements of the crops. Observing uh, changing pattern in the climate, how it impact the cr uh, crops pro productivity? Uh, if we see the impact of uh, changing climatic conditions in general on crop productivity, every year we are observing uh, large fluctuations in yield of the crop, especially our major crops like uh, wheat or paddy. So, because there is a lot of variability in weather conditions, so as the global warming is occurring, climate change is taking place, so that is uh, increasing uh, intensity and frequency of extreme weather events 
as well as variability in weather conditions so because of that there are large fluctuations every year in the crop productivity now it, it is the paddy season uh, what is expected in this monsoon if, whether it will be favorable for the crop uh, actually paddy crop requires water so if there is a good monsoon so that is uh, favorable for paddy crop and secondly that is favorable for our uh, ground water resources also so this year imd has predicted uh, monsoon to be 106% of uh, long period average so we are expecting uh, good monsoon rains this year so she was dr uh, pk kingra head of the meteorology department of punjab agriculture university and according to her imd has uh, expected uh, md expect that uh, th this year the region will witness a long monsoon period which we, which is healthier for uh, paddy crops and as well as for uh, it is good for the groundwater resources so you are watching the savera amarpal singh with cameraman manoj siddu